Hi my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back here tonight with another requested reading and this one is just going to be a general, I mean I guess career and love for Jeffree Star. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I shuffled all my cards. We're ready to go here. I'm gonna lay these out. And remember, if you have any requests, just leave me a comment below or you can email me, whatever works for you. I have two more left on my list. I'm going to get those done as soon as I can. I do a lot of batch filming. So, anyways, I am running low on them. So, if you have any more, please send them. And also, if you are interested in a free tarot card reading, a free oracle card reading, a past life reading, or even, you know, just a basic pendulum reading, send me an email, and I would love to do that for you for free, of course. I'm not a professional yet, okay? I want to put that out there. I am still learning as we go, but I would love to do that for you, you know, and hear your feedback, because it helps me practice, and I enjoy it. So, yes. Almost done here. Okay, so everything's laid out here as you can see. And let's get right into this. So Jeffree Star, just a basic loving career for Jeffree Star. Give me a second. I did see a tick, I think it was TikTok that he posted the other day with like the whole um, Haley, I almost said Selena with the whole Haley thing, and I just, maybe I shouldn't have laughed at it, but I got a pretty good laugh at it. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But, yeah, I'm sorry. Try not to be mean. Not that I think he was being mean, but, you know, he's entitled to do what he wants, but, I don't know, I thought it was kind of, it made me chuckle. It made me chuckle, to say the least, so. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So... We have the star. We have, you know, that's interesting. I just thought about that, the star. He's Jeffree Star. Ha ha, he he. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was funny. Okay. <laughs> so, we have Seven of Spears. Sorry, I'm a weirdo. We have Page of Swords. <laughs> we have Two of Cups in Reverse. And then we have King of Spears, okay? Again, I am not a professional. I don't know all my cards yet, so I'll be reading off the guidebook. If you don't know, now you know. Okay, so the star, Jeffree Star, the star. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Key meanings, hope, wishes, healing, creativity, inspiration, and guidance. The star asks you to keep the faith because opportunities and reward will come. You follow a new direction in work, projects, and relationships. Spiritually, the card reveals guidance. You discover your life purpose. For some, this is the ability to heal others and yourself. You may have come through a period of transition and now sense the unfolding of new creative possibilities. Relationships are harmonious, and if you are looking for love, you are now ready to be with your soulmate recognition, luck, and money. So yeah, I mean, that does kind of make sense for him. I know, at least I think, again, if I'm wrong, let me know. You guys always let me know when I'm wrong. I think that he did take a little bit of a hiatus for a little while and kind of step back, but I think now, you know, he's coming back out in the open. And I do think there's going to be some new creative ventures coming for him. He's got a lot of inspiration in him. You know, working on himself, healing. And yeah, looks good. Let's keep going. Okay, next we have Page of Swords. Where'd it go? Okay. Page of Swords. Okay, so key meanings. News, contracts, villages. As a person, this page is a young individual, male or female, who is witty, clever, and contrary. Applied to a situation, he represents vigilance. You may have contracts and documents to arrange or sign for property, travel, finances, or other agreements. 
So pay attention to the detail and listen carefully from trusted sources. Obviously always do that, you know, with anything. But yeah, I definitely think there is some stuff coming up the pike for him. You know, probably with the contracts. That's what this card is representing. You know, probably some travel coming up for the, you know, coming up for him. Excuse me. Agreements, contracts, things like that. So that's what that Page of Swords is representing. Okay, next we have Two of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so Two of Cups in Reverse. The Two Reverse indicates secrets and doubt as a relationship stalls. There may be commitment issues on either side, poor communication, lack of trust. Let your intuition guide you rather than let past wounds play out. Is he in a relationship? Any of you guys know? I, again, like I've said in a lot of my celebrity reading videos, I don't follow a lot of these people. I don't really pay attention, you know, to like their personal lives. So y'all might have to give me some insight with that. If there is, there might be some sort of commitment, communication issues, possibly, allegedly. I don't know for sure. So don't come for me. But that's what that Two of Cups represents. So... Okay, next we have Seven of Spears. Okay, so this Seven of Spears represents challenges, negotiations, advocacy, and anticipation. Endurance and opposition are the meanings of the Seven. The card suggests you hold your ground through tough negotiations as you fight off a competitor. Defend your ideas or push back one too many demands. The positive aspect, however, is that you see this challenge and you take action before the situation gets out of control. Persevere. So, yeah, there might be some sort of challenges or some sort of... Some sort of situation that he might need to get under control and hold his ground through, as this card states. There might be some sort of competitor. I don't obviously know who or what that would be referring to i'm guessing probably somewhere in his career would make sense to me but yeah that's what that represents so again if y'all have any more insight let me know because again i don't follow these people so and i am not a professional yet next we have the king of spears i keep losing my page Okay, so key meanings for this King of Spears is honor, freedom, openness, and inspiration. This king is engaging, charismatic, and passionate about what he does. He loves what he does. He might be in a business startup, communications, the arts, or travel industry, which, you know, he, I think he is in that. Obviously. <laughs> Whatever his position, he upholds high standards, applied to a situation, a light bulb moment, offers a way to creative and financial freedom. So, yeah, there might be some sort of, you know creative thing that he might have planned and whatever it is you know again i don't know what these celebrities are doing i i don't really follow them a lot but whatever it is you know it, it does seem good you know and it's going to bring him the success i mean if as if he isn't already successful i mean the dude has done amazing for himself whether you like him or not you know he has done very well he's done very well he's worked very hard so yeah all right, let's keep going. I'm going to pull six more on Jeffree Star. So, give me a second. Okay, three more. Okay. Seven of Swords. Two of Spears. Eight of Cups. Five of Swords. We have the Hangman. We have the Devil. All right. To the two of spears first. 
Okay, so the two of spears. Partnership, plans, choices, and traveling. The two reveals a choice. If you are ready to leave the security of your castle, it's time to visualize the possibilities and make a plan. Partnerships are favored now, and you have support around you. The two of spears can also represent a portal into spiritual realms, etc. Also, a leap into exciting new territory. So, yeah, some sort of partnership, plans, making choices, and traveling, you know, is basically what that two is representing. So, yeah, and it's probably with the career is what I'm thinking. It's probably in the career aspect is what I would think. So, yeah, take what you will. All right, next we have... It's interesting, I just opened right up to the devil. <laughs> not going to do that one yet. Next we have the Eight of Cups. I keep losing my page. There we go. Okay, Eight of Cups. Okay, so... Eight of Cups, key meanings, departure, change, resolution. The eight represents change as you turn away from an established relationship, friendship, job, or other commitment. This might be a difficult decision, but intuitively you know it's right, and for this reason you move on when you see signs rather than waiting for its ending. You might have to detach yourself emotionally from a relationship that cannot develop. You depart quietly without drama. So yeah, some sort of change and departure with something. Again, I don't know like his relationship or anything. I don't know any of that, so I'm not sure. But, yeah, you're going to have to make a choice. He's going to have to make a choice with whatever that's referring to. So, I guess we'll see. Again, if y'all know anything about it, please let me know because I don't know. Okay, next we have the Seven of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so the Seven of Swords, dishonesty, theft, transgression, mistrust. So, the Seven is a Tarot's Thief card. It asks you to protect your ideas, home, and possessions, even your relationship from opportunists. While this card can also indicate legal issues and business malpractice, more generally it reveals an atmosphere of mistrust and the need for vil vigilance. Excuse me. Keep your wits about you and guard what is rightfully yours. So, yeah, there might be something going on behind closed doors. Again, I'm not sure could be some sort of legal issue, some sort of business thing. Didn't something happen with, like, his makeup line? Again, I don't know. Don't come for me, okay? I don't know. I don't know these things. I don't look into it. But I do wonder if maybe it was something to do with that. But then I see this devil card, too, and this, you know, not the best card. I mean, let's be honest. So I do wonder if that might refer to a little bit of that as well. But, yeah, definitely something... Not good. Mistrust, dishonesty, theft, legal problems, business malpractice, etc. You know, that's what that Seven of Swords represents. Next we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so the Five of Swords key meaning is conflict, loss, defeat, exposure. This five shows loss and even humiliation in a war of words. And there's an edge of cruelty, too, as your opponent seems to take pleasure in your defeat. This card can signify fighting with institutions within families at work or within other group situations rather than one-on-one -on -one combat. It's clear that this battle is not worth continuing. Withdraw now with dignity rather than suffer more harsh treatment. So, yeah, again, some sort of conflict, exposure, humiliation, fighting with someone... I Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly that would be referring to, but that's what that card represents. So, y'all know, please let me know. Okay, next we have the hangman. Let me find it. There, so I don't lose it. Okay, so the hangman. Okay, key meanings. Time, suspension, waiting, transition, protection, reversal, sacrifice. While the hangman reveals waiting for a decision or a change in circumstances, he invites you to take a different view of the situation, a new perspective. You could find a solution. 
This card also says a sacrifice may be needed to break the stasis and forge ahead. Whatever your decision, you can move forward enlightened. So yeah, some sort of sacrifice, making a decision, taking a different view of something, trying to find a solution. Whatever that's referring to. I don't know if it's like within his career aspect or relationship. Could be both. Again, I don't know everything that's going on behind closed doors. So as I've said a thousand times. And lastly, we have the devil. Okay, so key meanings. Temptation, addiction, power, anger, lust, access, materialism. Okay, so the devil reveals an agreement, a moral obligation, or a relationship that restricts you. The card also stands for materialism and ego, so it can mean feeling enslaved by work, debt, or negative people draining your energy or your bank account. It's also the card of addictions to substances, sex, illicit affairs, or a pattern of victimization. Whatever gives you short-term short refuge or pleasure but ultimately is damaging to you. But however, you can break free of the situation. Additional meaning a binding contract. So yeah, that's what that devil represents. That's all I got. I mean, take what you will with it. But yeah, that's it for a Jeffree Star reading. I hope this helped. Sorry, I'm not a professional. I did the best I could, but I'm trying. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much. And I will be back with some more requests soon. And remember, if you have any more, please comment below. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.